Hello everyone, in this episode I'm going to talk about cookie authentication and expiration for Blazor WebAssembly applications. When we created our Blazing Chat application, we created it as HP.NET or hosted version of Blazor WebAssembly application, which created a server project and a client project for us. Then we used server project to issue a cookie for us and then we stored that cookie on the client browser so that we could indicate our application if the user is logged in or not. Now we could set some of its properties. We could set that cookies is persistent property. That means even after closing the browser, user stays logged in, the cookie stays in the browser so that user doesn't have to re-log in when they reopen the browser we could set this property to true and then we can make that happen we can also set expires utc property which sets the expiry date for our cookies i'm going to set it as five seconds and see that if our cookie gets expired after the five seconds and then we'll also check out api authorization so currently our blazing chat applications api is open for public and what I want to do is whenever there isn't any cookie on the client browser, then I would like to protect my APIs on the server side. So whenever the cookie expires, we would like to throw our user to the login page. We would like to log out the user so that they don't have access to the application. So let's first take a look at our application. So this is my Blazing Chat application. I'm going to go to its login page and open my developer tools. I'm going to go to applications and monitor the cookies here. So whenever I log in with John Smith's user ID and password, my application creates a cookie and then I can navigate to different pages of my application. Even after refreshing the application, the cookie stays there and that's how I know that user is still authenticated whenever i log out the cookie goes away and same thing happens with external logins too if i try to log in with twitter then also it creates a cookie for me and then i can use the application even after refreshing the page the user stays logged in this is my twitter accounts email address now Let's set its is persistent property. Before that, I'm going to go to my startup class here on the server project. And you can see that whenever we configured services for our server project, we added authentication as one of its services and we added cookie as a support so that whenever we sign in, our application uses cookie authentication. Now, if I go to my users controller, whenever I click on this login button, I'm calling this login user web API. So I should be post method. And here I'm checking if the user exists in the database or not. And then if the user exists in the database, then I'm creating claims, claims identity, claims principle, and I'm passing that in HTTP dot sign in async method which sets the cookie for us so before passing before signing in the user we could set some of the authentication properties here i'm gonna create authentication property object here authentication properties i'm gonna say new authentication properties and here i can pass some of the properties i'm gonna set is persistent property here i'm gonna set it to true and before passing these authentication properties to sign in async i would like to show you that the cookie goes away whenever you close the browser so i'm gonna log in with john smith and you can see that the cookie is created i'm not gonna log out i'm gonna close the browser and then i'm gonna re -log. i'm gonna actually go application and you can see that the user is locked out the cookie is gone so the cookie gets deleted after we close the browser 
but if you set the is persistent property to true and pass this authentication property to sign in async method sign in pass this property here that's the second parameter here and save the file and then i'm going to come back to my application my project is going to get rebuilt and push the bits on the browser whenever i refresh the page here and then i'm gonna log in with john smith and the cookie is created i'm gonna close the browser and reopen the browser go to my main chat application and you can see that john smith is still logged in if i open my developer tools you can see that the cookie is still there after the after closing the browser I can go to different pages too. I can refresh my page too. Then also user stays logged in into the system. Now, just like is persistent property, we could also set expiry date for the cookie. I'm gonna set expires UTC property. I'm gonna set it to date time dot now, and I'm gonna add five seconds from now. So after five seconds, the cookie will get expired and if you're sitting idle on the application then the cookie will get deleted so i'm gonna log out um, this user and then whenever i log in you can see that the cookie is created and it gets refreshed every five seconds you can keep an eye on it and if i'm sitting idle for five seconds if i'm not doing anything and then if i navigate to the profile page after five seconds then the cookie is gone there isn't any cookie i'm still able to access my pages and we'll fix that but the cookie is gone if i refresh my page then it will kick me out of the system and put me on the login page so I'll fix the API authorization in a minute here, but we could also pass this authentication properties to our external logins, which are Twitter authentication. We're already passing one of the properties here. We can also do that to Facebook sign-in and Google sign-in. So I'm gonna keep these authentication properties at one place. For that, I'm gonna create a function. I'm going to create a function which returns authentication properties. I'm going to call it as get authentication properties and we'll cut these properties that we have set here and put them in this function. And instead of just creating a new object, I would like to return that object. And just like we are adding redirect URI for our external logins i can also add that property here too which is going to be this profile page so whenever our external users log in they get navigated to profile page and instead of using these new instances i'm going to call get authentication properties and same thing i'm going to do for my facebook sign in and for my Twitter sign in, and finally for my custom authentication sign in. So we created a property. Now we are passing this function. Now let's try to see if the cookie gets expired whenever I sign in with Twitter. I'm going to refresh my application and sign in with Twitter. And you can keep an eye on this cookie. It gets refreshed after five seconds. And if I stay idle for more than five seconds, then the cookie will get deleted. So if I navigate to profile page, you can see that the cookie is gone. If I refresh my page, then I'll get kicked out. And let's go back to our API authorization. So you saw, you saw that even after the cookie was deleted, I'm able to access my pages and that's not what we want. We would like to kick the user out of the system when the cookie is gone. 
for that, I'm going to first go to this contact page and show you that even, even if I'm logged out, even if I'm logged out, I can still access my web API call. And we don't want that. To fix that, first thing that I'm going to have to do is to go to my startup class. And wherever we told our application to use authentication in configure method, we told our application to use authentication. I'm going to tell my application to use authorization too. And once you're done with that, then you'll put authorized tag on the things that you would like to protect. So I created different controllers for this demo. This used to be only one controller. I created contacts, profile and settings controller for my contacts, profile and settings page. And I'm gonna put authorized tag on these controllers, but not on the user controller because I want non-authenticated user to be able to access this controller. So I'm going to add authorized tag in my contacts controller. I'm going to have to add a namespace for that. Same thing that I'm going to do for my profile controller. I'm going to add a authorized tag here and add a namespace. And same thing I'm going to do for my settings controller and add a namespace there too. Let's save this page. And I'm not gonna put authorize tag on my users controller because I do want an authenticated user to access this controller. <coughs> now, if I go to my application and try to access this web API, it's going to kick me to this account login page. It's going to not let me access the application. And that's good. It's going to not let me use whenever I am logged out. So if I'm logged in, and then if I go to my settings page and wait for my cookie to get expired, and then go to my profile page, then I'm getting an error now and I'm not able to access the pages. At least we're not seeing the data there. And the error that we're getting is a weird one. We're getting JSON reader exception and that's not helpful because there is no way for my client to know if the user is unauthenticated. So to fix that, we can change this url so whenever i'm trying to access which i'm not authorized to access it pushes me to this account forward slash login url and i can change that in startup plus i can go to my startup plus and wherever i'm adding the cookie i can also pass some options here i'm gonna pass some options and i'm gonna set this options login path to user not authorized. So whenever you're trying to access something that you're not allowed to, it's going to navigate to this URL and we can send unauthorized exception from this URL. So if I try to go to this contacts dot get contacts API now, it's going to I forgot to put forward slash here. I'm going to put forward slash here. It's going to rebuild and go to this user not authorized error. If I try to do that again, then it's going to go to that URL. And I can send unauthorized exception there. So I can go to users controller. And at the end, I'm going to add a HTTP get web API here, which is going to look like this. So whenever I navigate to this not authorized URL, then 
my web API, which is I did not put authorized tag on the user controller, is going to say that you're trying to access something which is unauthorized. Now I'm going to go to my application. I'm going to log out. And then we'll keep an eye on the exception that we're getting. I'm going to log in with John Smith. I can access the application as long as I'm not idle for five seconds. And then I'm going to wait for the cookie to get expired. And after five seconds, I'm going to try and go to my login page. If I do that, now I'm getting unauthorized error. I'm not getting a weird error. Now my client knows that the user is unauthorized. And now we can handle that exception. For that, I'm going to go to my client project and go to my profile page here. And wherever I'm getting the profile, I'm going to put a try and catch block. I'm going to put a try and catch block. And I'm going to put this line in the try block. And wherever, whenever we get an exception, which is unauthorized exception, I would like to handle that. And that exception is an HTTP dot HTTP request exception. I'm going to handle that exception here. And whenever that exceptions status code is equal equal to system dot net dot HTTP status code, I believe is the sentence. I'm going to copy this one from here. So whenever we get the status code as unauthorized, we would like to log out the user. For logging out, I'm going to go to my main layout. Whenever we click on logout, we are calling these two methods, which will log out the user from the server and also navigate the user on the login page. So I'm going to copy these two lines and put it in this catch block here. So here I'm checking if we're getting an exception, which is unauthorized exception, then I want user to log out of the system. For that, let's go ahead and test it. I'm going to log out the user and log back in with John Smith. And then I'm going to go to settings page and wait for my cookie to get expired. And now if I try to go to profile page, I'm not getting any exceptions and I get logged out of the system. So this is how you can handle its persistent, its persistent expires UTC and API authorization for your place of WebAssembly applications. If you have any questions, you can ask those questions in the comment section below or you can reach out to me on Twitter, Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.